Welcome. Today we are going to learn how to remove a Kunsha's nail or a K-nail. A 40-year-old male patient presented with history of surgery done on his right femur around 15 years back. He had a fracture shaft of femur then which was operated uh, by open reduction and inter internal fixation was done with the help of a Kunsha's nail. The story behind uh, the development of the K nail or Kunchal nail is a very interesting one. The, the, the photograph that you are seeing is of a great uh, orthopedic surgeon from Germany. His name is Gerard Kuncher and uh, he was born in the year 1900. He is considered as father of the intramedullary nailing as he uh, developed this intramedullary nail and did his first case in the year 1939 and uh, because Germany was at war in that uh, era his work got limited to uh, Germany only it was only when the prisoners of war of the allied forces when they returned back to their home in uh, United States it astonished uh, the surgeons in US and an article was published in the Time magazine in the year 1945 which was entitled as the Amazing Thigh Bone. Now the design of the femoral canal is such that on a cross section view it is a clover leaf shaped and uh, it has a hollow core so that uh, one can admit a guide wire in it. It has a slot as you can see here and this is placed enterolaterally on the tensile side it has eye on both the sides that is used for extraction of the femoral nail now here the patient was uh, taken for surgery it was kept in the left lateral position After thoroughly painting and draping uh, the patient, the knee is flexed and uh, one palpates the trochanteric tip and as you can see with my uh, fingers I am trying to locate the trochanteric tip and a curved incision is made along the trochanteric tip. Here I am making a small rent in the tensor fascia lata and opening it with the help of a of dissecting scissor. Now once the tensor fascia lata has been opened, it can be retracted with the help of a self retaining retractor. Now the underlying hip abductors can be seen. I am putting a small curved artery forcep into the uh, hip abductor and I will be trying to open the hip abductor at the tip of the K nail. Now once I open it, I am putting a small bone lever across the tip of the K nail and uh, with the help of a cautery, I will try to uh, remove the soft tissue around the K nail. Here you can see the tip of the K nail and I uh, will be use, I'm using a small artery forcep to just clean the soft tissue that is around the tip of this canal. Here I am using a cautery to just clean the soft tissue that has that has been accumulated around the canal. Now I am making use of an osteotome and along with that I will try to expose the tip of the canal in a better manner. So once uh, we do that
uh, I'm using a plier just to take hold of that and uh, I've asked my assistant to give me a counter traction by holding the leg so I'm pulling the canal and luckily this canal just came out now it has got stuck now once the canal has been extracted to this length one can easily see the eye of the proximal canal and I'm putting a hook into that eye of the canal and uh, this is being um, attached to an extractor hammer and once it has been properly fit now I am with the help of gentle strokes I am removing the cane and this cane nail has smoothly come out and after that I will be detaching it from the hook and we will be trying to inspect the cane nail that it has not broken or it is there so you can see this is the eye the proximal eye of the cane nail with an entrolateral slot and this is the eye on the lower side so once we do that uh, the wound was thoroughly washed with normal saline and closed back in layers. So this was the extracted cane nail and uh, the, the, the instrument which I used to remove the cane nail from FEMA. I hope you enjoyed the video. In case you did, please press the like button and do subscribe to the channel for more such interesting videos. Thanks for watching.